Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. Isn't it a wonderful day? I'm so hoping to bring you the most glorious fabrics here. But first, I want to show you how it is that you can buy from us today. Most of you know that the website is www.sewingstreet.com. But I learned something new yesterday on the website, which is really exciting, which many of you don't know. So I'll show you now. So you'll just go and type in here. I'm going to do it as you would be typing it in normally. Sewing Street. Oh, I've just gone for the Google search. That wasn't what I wanted. Bear with. So there we go. You'll type in sewingstreet.com and you'd come up with our page as normal. And then you've got our wonderful YouTube channel. And if you tap on that now, you'd have me an echo. But did you know that you've got the products per page? I didn't. So if you tap on that and you go 96, it cuts down the number of pages you have to flick through. And all the wonderful products of loveliness that you want are all there. So these are all the wonderful things I can't wait. And I've, I've been able to stroke them this morning, so I'm very excited. So you've got all these wonderful different combos and things that you can buy, as well as our amazing early bird special. A couple of weeks ago, I brought these to you and was able to show them to you. I think we had them on it, was it 19.99? And look now, they are now 14.99. These scissors are so amazing and I'm terrible at opening the packaging. We did try and open them beforehand, didn't work, sorry. <laughs> But you've got the most incredible combination of products here. And I'm just going to take them all out of the box so I can show them to you all at one go. So we've got these fantastic um, heavyweight millwood scissors. Um, these are 21 and a half centimeters, really good quality, and they're just so fabulous to use. And these you would pay $14.99 on their own for. They are just wonderful. But not only are you getting the pair of scissors, you're also getting the pair of little embroidery scissors, which are so cute. And you've got these fabulous little thimble and the pins that we've got these lovely little rose gold heads on them. I'm just, oh, they're so, so, so good. And these scissors are just wonderful. I've been gushing about them for, for the last couple of weeks now. So as you all know, early bird is because the early bird catches the worm. And if you're, <clears throat> sorry, frog in my throat there. Um, how do you open these? They're kiddie proof, so you'll just trust me, they're lovely pins. <laughs> I'm very bad at opening packaging. So there we go, we're just going to accept that they're lovely little pins that you can use in any of the projects that you want to be doing. They are just, it's just such a lovely, lovely combination of kit. And I think a couple of weeks, a couple, I think a little while ago, I was able to do these all in one shot. And you can see that you've got your scissors, the big scissors, you've got your little scissors, you've got your thimble and your pins. Really great, great quality, wonderful product and such a lovely gift box great for a present or just to kind of in these little these days that we're having at the moment just to spoil yourself and just something nice to look at because rose gold is just so wonderful and contemporary and it's just definitely something you'd want to be having in your home and these scissors are just so good because you all need a good pair of dress dressmaking shears and you've got the nice combination of the little pair of scissors as well. So when we can all start traveling again, you, I think you can take these on the airplane and you just need to check with your um, airline that you can because the measurement of what scissors you can take come from that join there in the middle to the end of your scissors. And as far as I know, they're three and a half centimeters and that's definitely small enough for you to be able to get on the plane. But again, double check with your airline if you are gonna do it for that but just such a good product. And for $14.99, you'd pay that just for the big scissors. So a really, really, really good early bird today. Unfortunately, I can't put it back in the packaging as well as it was in originally. So I'm gonna leave that there for the moment. But such a lovely product. So have a little look through that and see what you think. Um, if you don't want to look on the website, we've got our UK-based call centre, which is at 0800 001 4433. We've got a one-day P&P, um, which is 395 as a flat rate throughout the day. And um, yeah, please stay in touch with us on our social media. Social media. Say that three times quickly. Um, we've got our Facebook group, which is Sewing Street TV as well as the Sewing Street fans page. Um, and if you're on Instagram, I think it's just at Sewing Street. 
um, and then obviously all our shows every day are put onto YouTube so if you want to have a look on the YouTube page that is you're searching for Sewing Street and if you click subscribe you'll get a video every single time one uploads. We are working on skeleton staff at the moment, so please bear with us if there are things that are not quite right at the moment. Some of our postage is a little delayed. Everybody is working so hard to make sure that you're getting all of your deliveries. But in the times that we're having at the moment, as you know, we're doing everything possible just to make sure that everybody is safe, because that's the most important thing of all. And we all want you to stay in and sew. We've got a lovely hashtag for that at the moment. So anything that you are staying in and sewing, please pop that on the Instagram and Facebook pages. We can then all search in it and see what you're doing and stay in touch and maybe join in as well. Um, sorry? Oh my goodness, we're having multi buyers on the early bird. Oh, that's wonderful. Now with the early bird at the moment, where we are in the drastic times, we're making sure that the early birds stay on until they sell out. We wanted to make sure that everybody was able to get them because some people may not be getting up this early. Um, so they will be available while stocks last. And we have got repeats on YouTube as well. So just have a little search on the, on the website and you'll be able to have it from there. So, I think I'm going to start with these incredible fabrics. But before I do, many of you know what Liberty of London is and many of you don't. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my absolute all time favorite stall in London. It is it was an emporium. It was it's a hundred and it was set up. Oh, gosh, it's 145 years old. I can't remember what year that was set up. So it's 145 years old. And what they have done, it's always been the pinnacle of fantastic product, amazing quality, unusual things. So they will go to India and Japan and all over the world to find the most fantastic rugs and carpets and fabrics and design. We all know William Morris. William Morris did his collection through Liberty as well. And all of the designs of William Morris are in, most of the designs of William Morris are in the Liberty archive. And all these incredible archives that they have for fabric are owned by Liberty. Liberty. So when they want to reprint something, they go back in their archives and see something and perhaps adapt a color or adapt something from the past to make it more contemporary and more modern for a, a current day customer. Every single time I go to the shop, so many of you who may have been there, it's on Great Marlborough Street. And I've just recently learned that it was made of two ships. And one was the impregnable and one was the Hindustan. Forgive me if I pronounce those incorrectly. But the actual shop, the frontage of the shop on Great Marlborough Street is the length of the Hindustan actual ship. And the wood from those two ships, which were used to travel around the world and get product for different shops, the, the shop is actually made out of that wood. So they've got two massive atriums in the middle of the shop and you look Look down on them or up at them and you can look down and see the Hermes scarves and you can look up and see the Christmas collections and it is just an experience beyond words it's just definitely something you want to do but they also make these incredible fabrics so the fabrics that they do normally traditionally people will know the silk and the cashmere and the blends of those but they also make a tourna lawn so the tourna lawn is a little bit thinner than what quilters are normally used to but they are quilting cottons but because they're a little bit more expensive and they are a little bit thinner People get a bit nervous using those as quilting fabrics. And also for clothing, if you want to make children's clothing and things, um, the tourna lawn, people are just a bit nervous that it wouldn't last as well. It's unfounded because that quality is so good. You'll easily be able to make um, clothing out of that and quilts. But Liberty then listened to the customer and they made the quilting cotton that you're used to and I'm used to, but using the incredible designs and patterns from their archive and from their current products to bring us a quilting cotton. And today I am beyond excited to be able to bring you the quilting cottons from Liberty. And we've got our fat quarter bundles, which have got 11 of them. And I don't think any other TV show is doing this, the, 11 bu the bundle of the 11. So this is exclusive to Sewing Street. And just look at them. I'm going to open them all up later, but I'm just, I just need to get them in my hands. You can see just how spectacular they all are. And they just the quality on there and the, the image of the fabrics are just so unique to Liberty. You're not going to get them anywhere else. And then I'm going to, I've got to do the last bundle as well, because you've got to stroke them all equally, otherwise they feel offended. But it's just the, just even the colorways you can see are just so beautiful.
you can just see how gorgeous that colorway is on that. Really, really, really sweet. And I'm just, I'm really hoping Andrew's not watching this today because all of this is coming home with me. And we've got our half meter bundles as well, which I am seeing are the same as what we've got for the um, fat quarters, but you always want a half meter. If you, but the fat quarters are probably a little bit more, I don't know. I love a fat quarter and I love a half meter. I'm not quite sure. So, so this is just the amazing collection of fabrics that I've got for you today. And they're very strokeable and the quality is so good. And it's just such a wonderful, wonderful range. So I think I'm going to start now by showing you some of the fabrics. I'm going to show you the fat quarters. So I'm going to start with I'm um, going to start with this range, which was at the back, which is a bit more of a grey colourway. And this is just, and I'm, I'm going to gush uncontrollably over all of them. I'm going to just move the scissors out the way so you can get a full view of these. Hmm? Should I do the half meters? Let me do the half meters. I'm sorry, I'm messing you all around. Getting you all excited about the fat quarters. We're going to do the half meters first. But oh my gosh, these colors are just so, so fun. And they're just so lively. And I was actually in Canada a couple of months ago before all this nonsense happened. And I was actually able to go and buy a lot of these in Canada because I didn't know we were going to be able to get them in the UK. So this is a bundle called the Liberty uh, Winterborn House Range in the teal mega bundle. And it's 11 half meters, each of them being half a meter. And it's 5.5 meters in total. And that is $74.90 per bundle. Then you've got your PNP on that. And remember, we've got the one day, all day PNP. So that's $3.95. So if you buy the half meter and then want to do the fat quarters afterwards, you're only paying the one PNP. So, and, and the Liberty, I will take the time to make sure I fold beautifully because Liberty deserves that. It's just so beautiful. I love Liberty fabric. And most of us who do do quilting will go and buy our Liberty fabric as the treat of all treats. And everybody who wants to do one of these fabric bundles, um, you'll know that you put them in there and it's the stuff you use for special occasions. They're just so fun. Mm -hmm. It's very boring for me watching me folding this. So we can just show you these from here. You can see this is the colorways on these and I'm going to lean closer to them just so I can be closer to them. just see how pretty and how detailed these colors are the colors are in these bundles and it's all just the great thing with Liberty fabrics is that the synergy between them so you can see how well they blend together as a bundle and when you look at them separately you wouldn't have thought they blended so beautifully together but they really do Liberty have got that wonderful way of looking at fabrics and being able to just merge the colorways together when I show them on screen, I'm trying not to get a glare on them to be able to see the color as well. So we've got all our, um, our wonderful Joe is in the, st in the room and he's running back and forth trying to get the camera ways together. So these may have been zoomed in a bit more before, but bear with us. We are doing the best that we can with our skeleton staff at the moment. You can just see the detailing in this is just so beautiful. And this one, oh, I love it. Nothing like a good old lemon tree to get you going. I 
I'm just reading this. So, Joe, tell me now, the, the, the description there says, with half a metre free. What's the free bit? Well, that's one of the, I guess the price of it would be that... Oh, my gosh. So with the price of the bundle, it actually works out that you're actually getting half a metre, one of these pieces, actually for free. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I love it. And then you can tell the other half, um, actually, I got, ha I got a half metre for free, so I had to do it. It was for free stuff. This is just beautiful. And what's so lovely with this, and forgive me while I fold this a little bit, if you do that, look at that as a binding. You can just see that as a nice little pop of binding. It's just so lovely. And not that I wanted to just use it for binding, but it's just, you can tell, the detailing on this fabric is so special. You'll be able to use them, you can use them how you like. So what I do with my Liberty is I buy a whole load of Liberty and I put it in a box. And then when I've decided I'm actually going to be brave enough to use my Liberty, I'll then find a project that would work for it. And I will literally take from seasons from years ago and use them with current products because they're just so universally usable. You're not limited to having just stuff from this season. So I would easily put these two bundles together very, very easily because if you, can you look on the overhead? Oh, there we go, you can see there. You can just see how naturally they all just flow together. And of course, if I had put these back the right way, I wouldn't have those folds. Bear with, I was improving with my folding. I am listening to the feedback I'm getting, but not quite sure getting them back in the bundles the way they were. But you can see, even if as, as I'm putting these back, the colours all just go so beautifully together. And I think a lot of people get hung up on, you know, what colours go with what, and, oh, that isn't the right cream. I don't think it matters, because it just flows so beautifully with these bundles. And look at that one. I'm sorry, I'm just going to sit here and show you every little piece of it because we're all fabric lovers like I am, and you just want to just look at these, and, and these are really good quality quilting weight cottons, because we all know a good quality quilting weight cotton, and you have definitely got them with these. But the great thing with these is it's not just one season. They look like they're spring, they look like they're autumn. This one looks a bit more wintry to me, but then you look at this one, which I think looks a bit more springy, I'm um, trying to get that so it doesn't have quite so much. There we go. It's got a little, little beautiful little flower budding nicely. And then this one's a bit more summery. It's really, really cute. And then we've got the lemon tree. And I'm going to try and get that the right way around. Don't like my lemon trees being upside down. There we go. Oh, no, it is upside down. We're going to do that. <laughs> lemon tree the right way around. And then you've got these beautiful flowers as well. And then the very traditional, um, to, um, I think it's called the Hera uh, Liberty print. This is a little bit of a take on that. You can see it's a bit of a William Morris in that as well. And it is just so pretty. But also it's not William Morris because some people turn their nose up on patterns from long ago because they're like, oh no, that's very old fashioned. And personally, I think the old fashioned is where we should be going because it's so traditional and it's so beautiful. Wasn't it William Morris who said you shouldn't have anything in your house that isn't useful and isn't beautiful? I'm sure it was him. Probably wasn't. If I got it wrong, forgive me. But the, the sentiment still applies. And honestly, I have certainly not done a fabric show where I've done this much stroking on the fabric because it is just so, so, so beautiful. So I think those are the two colourways that we've got for the fat quarters and the half metres. Shall I do the fat quarters? So with the fat quarters, just a little bit of thing, we know we're in difficult times at the moment. We are having a slight delay on the fat quarters for some reason, mainly probably because of delivery. So there may be a, a, little, a few more days wait on your fat quarters than there are on the half metres. But that's okay, because none of us mind waiting. We're all doing our best in these horrible times. So make sure that if you are okay with that, you just need to know that there is a little bit of a delay, but they're all coming. So I'm gonna move the fat quarter, the half meters away there. Just redesigning the set as I go. So these are the fat quarters. 
Now these fat quarters, this is the neutral grey 11 fat quarter pack from Winterbourne House Range and these are $42.99 for the fat quarter bundle. We are the only television show able to bring you all 11 of these, so this is exclusive to us. I'm going to try and build a little bundle here and get them all going in the same direction. And I have a friend who is absolutely so talented with these fabrics. Any Liberty fabric I show up to her, she's able to say, oh, that's Ditsy, that's this one, there's that one. She knows them all out of her head. She's so good. One day maybe I'll be like that, but I'm certainly not at the moment. Now all of these, if the graphics aren't quite matching up with what you find on the website, just have a little look on the website because they are all on the website and you'll be able to click on those and see the pictures. Um, we're just trying to get everything to work at the same time and poor Joe, he's listening to bits and bobs in his ear, he's changing cameras, he's doing everything, he's doing a great job, so just bear with us at the minute. And this one is just so fun. I love these traditional sort of grey black because I think these make lovely borders. And also bindings. I like a dark binding for my border. I know not many people do, but I love a dark border. Oh, my lemon tree is back. But this time it's not lemons, it looks like peaches. I'm going to open this one just to see the name of it. So this is called Wood Haze. And what I love, because I love making um, salvage quilts. So you can see there it tells you exactly Liberty of Lunt, Liberty Fabrics, the Winterbourne Collection, and it's Wood Haze. I just love that. Because those will be the salvages that I sort of beg my friends who've bought these ranges and said, oh, I need your Liberty salvages and things. Because it just makes that really, because it's just such good quality. People are always looking for really good quality at a reasonably good price. And then we've got this beautiful soft pink at the end of this range. It just finishes it so beautifully. And again, we've got the collection here and this is called Winterbourne Bouquet. Winterbourne Bouquet. It's just gorgeous. I'm just so pleased that uh, Liberty have listened and taken the advice of their customers and have actually done a collection like this which is the more quilting fabric. It's lovely. So shall we do this one next? I'm not sure which one this is. No, nope. do you want to do teal? We got teal here. Let's do teal. Oh, I love these. And I got my little trees the right way around as well. going to move these into their little combination colorways. So we've got our teal collection here which are fat quarters. So we've got these are again 11 fat quarters in the Winterbourne house range and they're for $42.99 for 11 fat quarters. So is that 2.75 meters of fabric? I think it is. And these, I don't know why, but I think these are a bit more sultry. They're a bit more night fabrics. So I don't know if anybody's actually been to Liberty at Christmas time, but it is my favorite, 
favourite thing to do at Christmas. I don't think Christmas begins for me until I've been to Liberty's Christmas store. And we go and we stand in that middle atrium and we look up and down and see the way they've decorated it. Last year they had a massive Lego Christmas tree, which was extraordinary. And you had these wonderful, wonderful displays. They've got the scarf gallery down the bottom. And there you'll find a scarf for a mere four or five thousand pounds. You know, nothing really exuberant, you know. Definitely affordable for all of us, you know. <laughs> But it is very aspirational, and I think Liberty, that's the thing about Liberty, is it's always been very aspirational. And the great thing here is that we, they're very aspirational fabrics and really wonderful, wonderful designs, but at a price that we can actually afford. And there'll still be special fabrics, and they're fabrics that you will use, and at that special, fa special quilt pattern that you've been saving up, or you've got a project that you don't quite have in mind, and then one day you'll find something perfect and you'll think, oh, my Liberty fabric will finally come out of its box. I think I've got a very large box. Well, no, I know I have a very large box of Liberty. Um, but I haven't been able to find quite the right project yet to get that going. But these ones as well, at this price, you make sure that you get it while you can. And the great thing is, is because we've got those 11 um, fat quarters in this bundle, it's just exclusive to us to be able to make sure you've got all of those 11. Because that, if you bought them somewhere else, you wouldn't have all of them. Look at this one. This one's called Bank Art Fresco. How fun is that? I kind of feel like I need to open up each one and see what the name of it is. Oh, this one's fun. Nina Poppy. Isn't that just the name of a novelist, a, a character in a novel of some kind? I'm always worried when I unfold these, I'm going out of order. Just look at those. Again, just very, very sultry. It reminds me of these ones here, the darker ones. But again, with all of these, even though these are a different, a much darker colour, look how beautifully they go with all the rest of them. Oops. I love them. We've got two more here. I feel like I've been showing them for ages. I've got the last one here. Make sure you have a little look on the website. This one is called the Teal Range. The one before, um, I think that was called the Grey, was it? The Naturals or Greys. Tom is doing a brilliant job there, bless him. Joe, this is the problem. I called him Tom once by mistake and now I keep calling him Tom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So these are available in both the fat quarter bundle as well as the half meter bundle. Um, I'm just double checking, we've got exactly the same fabrics. Bear with. I don't want to tell you that they're all here and they're not. They are the same fabrics. <laughs> So you've got the Fat Quarter Bundle, which I think we had at 42, 42.99. But we also have the Half Meter Bundle, which was 70, 74.90. And it works out that a half meter of that is actually free. Sorry? We've just done the teal range. Should I do that? Good, right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you individually the teal range of the fabrics um, so you can see just how much fabric you're getting. And these are also available. So let's say you just liked one of these. They're available by the half meter. Can't go wrong with that. And those are 749 for a half meter. So go onto the website and have a look. I think these are not the usual 112 wide. 
in um, centimetres, being 42, 43 inches wide. But you can then see just how fun and lovely they are. So let's say, for example, you wanted to buy two metres of this, you would buy four half metres, and that would come in a single piece of four metres. Oh, a single piece of two metres, sorry, four units being two metres. Sorry, I misspoke then. Um, so you'll be able to get these in as big a length as you need. But also for quilt backings, they work really, really well for quilt backings, because it's just something fun and different. And because it's Liberty, I need to make sure I fold these correctly. So I don't want to bore you while I'm folding, but I want to make sure I get this right. I've done that wrong again. But it's just with Liberty, you want to take that little bit of extra time because it's just something so special. And this isn't an everyday purchase. Liberty is not an everyday purchase. This is something you would do as a one-off, as a real treat to yourselves. And gosh, don't we all need a treat at the minute? So look at that one. And just as a quilt back, that is just beautiful. Again, this one is 749 for a half meter. And this one is Bankart Silhouette. Look at that for a name. Only someone who's a real designer would come up with such a fun name like that. So remember, if you don't want to order off the website for any reason, you can call our UK-based call centre. Obviously, just understand things are a little bit hectic at the moment, so everybody is doing the very best that they can. So if your call takes a little longer to answer, please just bear with us. Everybody's wanting to make sure that you get your products as soon as possible. And we're gonna stay on air as long as we can and make sure that our dispatch people are doing the best that they can for as long as they can. And I've got that upside down, so I'm gonna turn that round. And I'm going to waft that a little bit forward so you can see more of it. So this is called the Bankart Fresco in, oh, nope, that's not the right one. Because this is Bankart Fresco. Oh, it is, I apologise, my mistake. If this is the Bankart Fresco in teal. The teal is the little, um, when I picked it up, I thought that's very red, that can't be teal, but it is. And that's 749 for a half meter. Again, if you order as many, let's say for example, you wanted to order four meters of this, this would be eight units. So the eight units would be eight times 0.5 coming at the four meters. And you'd get that in one single piece. Oh, look at the, just look at the detailing on it. It's just so pretty. And now when it's zoomed in like that, you can see why it's called the Bankart Fresco in teal, because there is a very, very strong teal in that. But what I love, and forgive me, I'm going to do this quickly, just look at the detailing inside that little flower. That's what I love about Liberty, is those tiny little dots of the teal. And then if you look at the flower underneath it, forgive me, I'm using, there you go. Look at the tiny little details of the, the petals there in the teal. It just pops so beautifully. And that's why I love Liberty, and oh, if I could afford to just only do Liberty in my house, I would. But alas, we've all got to do what we can. Maybe one day when we're all grown up, right? So I am not folding these how they came out. I apologize, I don't know what I've done, but there we go, I'm trying. Oh, we've got this beautiful one as well. So this one is called the Beatrice Poppy, which I'm assuming is Beatrice Poppy in teal. And you can, oh, I'm so pleased Joe has, has zoomed that in so you can see that gorgeous detailing. But just for example, look at the, the little tiny dots on the flower. You can actually feel the pollen on that. So this is the Beatrice Poppy in teal. Um, from the Winterbourne range, again, £7.49 per half metre. So if you wanted two metres, you'd order four, four of those, and that would then cut as a, come as, cut as a single piece. It's just so beautifully done and so elegant. And I promise you, when you feel the fabric itself, you will feel the quality on it. It's not, 
it's not just a gimmick, it is really good quality that you will just be able to feel. Oh, I think I've sussed how they're folding these. Nope. <laughs> And now we've got my favourite lemon trees, which are called wood haze. And you can see those beautiful detailing on the, on, well, I call them lemon trees, they're probably not. But you can just see all the different fruit on there. Oh, I hadn't noticed the teal fruit on there as well. And then you've got the little um, vines of, um, am I close? Nope. Where am I? So you can see the little vines with the, the little fruit on it. Just the detailing. Every time you look at it, you just see something different on it. It's just very cleverly done. See, I would, a friend of mine actually took a piece of their liberty, just like those amazing scarves that you can buy, and just framed it. And that was, they, they made a little piece of wall art with it. You'd happily make a little piece of wall art out of one of these. Now this one's called Louisa May, which I'm assuming is Louisa May in teal. And you can see just how beautifully crisp that is. And if you look behind those sort of tealy motifs, you've got those little tiny white flowers that just make that detailing so perfect with the tiny little dots as well. It's a bit more of a green than a teal, I suppose, but it just works so well with the bundle, which is probably why they put it in there. It just works so beautifully. But even on the flowers there, the fanning out flowers, you can see the little dots. It just, the detailing is so beautiful. So there's a fold, there's a fold. I will get there eventually with this folding thing. This is why I have Sylvia, she does all my folding. I just point, very good at pointing. Ask anyone. Much bigger than everybody else, but there we go. Now this one is just so beautifully fresh. This is, oh, Millefior Tulip, obviously. Just look how cute they are. They're just so tiny and poppy and cute. Again, 749 for a half meter. And this is also included in our lovely bundle of half meters, where you get 11, fat, uh, 11 half meters uh, from the bundle for 74 pounds 90, which actually means you're getting a whole half meter for free. You think, if you look at these as well, this is great for a little dress, for a pair of trousers, also for kids' clothing, because it's that wonderful quilted cotton um, quality. You'll easily be able to make clothing out of this for a little girl, or even for a little boy, a nice little pair of pyjamas. It'd be just lovely. Or pyjamas, can you imagine sleeping in that? Well, I certainly wouldn't want to be getting out of bed at that early in the morning then. And this is the one that I said was just so cute. It's a little bit more masculine. This one is called Nettle Fold, obviously. Obviously. But you see what I mean about the detailing? It's just so crisp and really, really, really soft and gentle. Just that tiny little detailing of that little hint and pop of white. It's just so clever. I have Tom in my ear saying, you know, you've got the folding down, you're getting ironing down, Andrew's not going to like all of this because he's going to say you can do it now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so this is called the Winterbourne Boutique, obviously. But just, oh, I've got it upside down. Get that. Oh, have I got it upside down? Nope, I think that is the right way round, forgive me. 
and it is the right way around, you can see. And again, really clever attention to detailing. And it, it looks a little bit like a, a lily, but it could be something else. It's just very cleverly done. And we've now got two left in this bundle. So you've got lots of choice on the website today, which I personally love. I think having lots of choice is a good thing. And of course, now that I've seen this all, I'm gonna to have to check with Haley and see how many of these I can make quilts out of. Because that'd be really good, making quilts out of all of these. So this one, oh, we've missed the salvage on this one, so I'm not sure what this one's called. So I think this one is called, what was it? Liberty Lawn. Liberty Lawn in teal. But again, the detailing on it is so soft and crisp. I'm going to put my finger on these. Hopefully I've got the right ones. But these little tiny flowers, I've got the wrong one, forgive me. These tiny little flowers over here, they just, they make me sing because they're just so little and they just pop so prettily. So when I do go into Liberty and I am allowed to be let loose in there, because it only happens twice a year, normally on their sale, um, I get to go in and I spend hours going through them and I literally go through every piece like this and the, the people at the till, they look at me going, are you all right there? I said, I'm totally fine, leave me alone, I'm fine, I've got it, I'm doing all this, you're, you're all good. And they just laugh because they know that the quality of it and everybody comes in and ogles over the quality of them. And now you can have them in your own home, such a good prize. So this is Pramila Posey in teal. I probably pronounced that totally incorrectly, forgive me if I have. And this is the last piece if you were buying the half meter bundle or the amazing fat quarter bundle because half meter bundles can be daunting. There's a lot of fabric in a half meter bundle and there's that price point stop as well and you just think, oh, maybe I want the fat quarter instead. And it's just such a lovely, lovely range of fabric that you can easily find something to make out of all of them. You see as well, I think I, my, fa my most asked question is, as a beginner quilter, what is the most simple pattern to do? And what I do is, I, what I tell people to do is, get yourself a fat quarter bundle. So let's say for example, you bought this fat quarter bundle, which is in the teal. What I would do is I would measure up your fat quarters. So if you've got a 10 inch, uh, 20 inch by 20 inch square, let's say it's just for simplicity, I cut those into five inch squares or four inch squares, whatever you can get out of them, but make sure they're consistent the whole way through. And then I just sew them together. Make sure your quarter inch seam is consistent. Just sew them all together. Then get yourself a meter of, of one of your favorite fabrics in there. Shove a board around the edge of it. Divide the meter into the whole thing. And it's your first perfect quilt. And if you get it out of fabrics that you love, you're never going to look at the fact that maybe your seams don't quite match. You're just going to use the quilt knowing that you love it. One of my dear friends, Paula, she did that same thing. Doing exactly that. Cutting the squares up. Did them love Paula to pieces but there were two or three lines that her seams didn't quite match so there may be nine squares on one end and ten squares on the other but it didn't matter because that was her first quilt and it just is so beautiful and I've, every time I talk to her she's got it on her lap so that's a really nice way of using a fat quarter bundle to do to be able to use, if you're looking for a fat quarter bundle or you're looking for an idea for a project that's a really nice way of doing it that you just get a fat quarter bundle that you love cut them up into equal size squares, sew them together in any order, and it just works so beautifully. I'm going to move these teal ones out of the way. Oh, I love it when we're doing shows like this because I always like to know who's doing what and who's buying what. And our natural grey fat quarter bundle is in the lead. This is the one that's selling the most at the moment. So if I pick that up a bit higher, you'll be able to see them. So you can see this is the bundle that's doing the best at the moment. Because I think it's always important to know what other people are buying. Is that the best one? Is this the, good, the best one? 
So we're going to do the pink bundle now as well. So all of these fabrics, um, shall we do the, just recap the fat quarter bundle? No, do Not a problem. There's your fat quarter bundle. <laughs> And now we're going to do the half meters and we're going to show you these because these are available individually on the website. And again, Nina Poppy. Just such a cute, fun fabric. And I'm loving the fact that people are staying in touch on the Facebook page. I read them quite as often as I can. So we've got two Facebook pages. We've got the official one for the Sewing Street TV. Um, so that one's monitored through the show as well. So if there's any fabric that you've seen that you'd like to see again, drop us a line. I can pull it out and show it to you as well. Failing that, we've got the Sewing Street fans page, which I love because we've got so many wonderful different makes and it's just nice to see what everybody's doing and it's just a lovely page to just connect with your fellow buyers. I've just had an announcement. We need to just double check our images for the fat quarter bundles. And um, there may be a small problem with those. So just check back later. We're just double checking the images on the face on the website to be correct with the um, what they actually are. So bear with us. We are on skeleton staff. We're making everything work as quickly as we can. N normally these are done at three in the morning when people are getting in to make sure. So please, mistakes happen. It's not intentional. We will get it right. And again, any questions, maybe give the call centre a call, 0800 001 4433, UK call centre. They're amazing. I spoke to them the day before yesterday because I had to set my account up for the Liberty fabrics that are being purchased today. I mean, that might be, that mean, I, sorry, I can't continue that sentence because my husband might be listening. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> I do think that I have thought of a really good idea for the for the um, the company though. I think what we need to do is for an extra pound, you can put a little slip in that says "Congratulations on winning this prize." <laughs> <laughs> so this is this one's called Winterborn Lawn. Again, the detailing is just so fresh and cute. Because the great thing with buying the half meters is you can mix and match. So my idea of doing your first quilt with squares, um, doing a fat quarter bundle is great because you can do a nice small quilt. But let's say you're feeling really adventurous that your first quilt, you don't want it to be a little lap size quilt. You want it to be huge. Then the half meters is the way to go because you can then firstly get one free because you get it, you're basically paying for 10, getting the 11th for free, but then you can cut out as many squares as you like. What have I done with that? Sorry. I'm trying to fold. It's not going well. Sylvia, where are you? There we go. Let's try that. This one is called Winterborne Boutique. Getting this the right way round as well. Oh, I'm just so loving these different fabrics to be able to see them so close. So if you flick back to me and I'm still staring at the preview screen, it's like that. <laughs> it's because I'm looking at the fabric and going, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then I'm like, I'm here to work, work, come on, work. So we'll get there. We're just bringing the Liberty Shop to you. It is that amazing experience of going in there and being able to just see all these different designs and fabrics. They're just so pretty. And again, now you can see that this is a little bit more of a blue in the, than the teal that we showed you previously. Um, I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Bear with, bear with. So, oh God, I've just ruined the next bundle. Don't, don't, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. But you can see that the different colours and just how subtly they've changed the colours on these. 
So this was the, this greeny one is the one that we had in the teal version, but you can see that one is just so much. Oh, it's just so lovely, but the design just changes ever so slightly with that different shade of colouring. Which is another reason why I personally think you should have all of them. Just buy them all. It'll be much easier. You won't regret the fabric you left behind. Did I just hear that we've got 10 minutes left of the show? No. Well, I'm not stopping. I'm going to show you every one of these fabrics. They can wait. <laughs> We're running over today, boys and girls. <laughs> but just look how pretty that is. Now you see with this what I would do is if we're doing English paper piecing, um, if you do your flowers, you can do your flowers out of all these amazing colours. I'd pick a dark centre for your flowers and then I would pick this fabric to go around your flowers as the grandmother's path. So, because everybody's always thinking, gosh, what would I use that for? Because we've all got different ideas of what we want to do. And like a lot of people are doing English paper piecing. It's coming back. It's wonderful. Um, but that might be a nice way of doing it, that you use this fabric as your little grandmother's path, literally around each flower. But look at this one. Oh, this is the Louisa May. Uh, and I got it upside down. Of course I did. Or do I? Oh, well, if it's upside down, forgive me. Or don't. <laughs> but it is non-directional, I think. But look how pretty that is. And we saw it in the teal, but you can see in the pink, it's just so gorgeous. But it's such a lovely pink, this one, because some pinks can be a bit eek. We all know what I mean by that. This is just such a lovely, subtle, beautiful pink. Um, am I doing this right? No, I'm not. Almost. Well, no one can say I'm not trying to fold them back the way they came out. I'm failing hopelessly, but at least I'm trying. So, got our little lemon tree back again. I can't remember what this one was called. Wood haze. And it looks so different to the teal, but it's so, it's exactly the same colour, but it's, uh, sorry, exactly the same design, not the same colour, but it just works so beautifully on it. But the great thing with all these fabrics is because they've been inspired from the Orient, from India, from all the different travels, they can see what colours are trending, what colours work really well. They've been doing it for 145 years, so they know what works and what doesn't for their customer. And they've just kind of taken the, the difficulty out of it for all of us and just made it so much simpler. This one is called Beatrice, Pot Beatrice Poppy. I was about to say Beatrice Potter then, but obviously not. Really lovely shirt out of this. Oh, if only I knew how to make shirts. These are lovely. It's just such a lovely, lovely colorway on this. Um, dum -dum -dum. Dum -dum -dum. I know every one of them folds the same. <laughs> just keep forgetting which way it is because what it is is you're looking at the fold lines on the back and you're thinking hang on that's wrong so if you fold it the wrong way the first time you get it all wrong so this one is called bank art fresco and again I think that's a little hint of William Morris in there You can all see what I mean by that. It's a little hint of strawberry, a strawberry thief in there, but instead of the little bird, I don't know if the strawberry thief is a, lem is a robin, but you can see just a hint of the flower instead. Really, really, really cleverly done. But that's their 145 years of experience for you. They know what they're doing. I wonder if they're gonna have a party for their big 145th year. Gosh, I hope it's not going to be during this difficult time. Well, I hope I'm invited. Well, if not, I'm just going to stand outside the window and go. Oh, 
I'll just bring my box of Liberty fabric and stroke it toward, uh, the window. Oh, look at those. And that's the, we call that Lois Daisy, are we calling it Lois, Louise, Lois? And now that is our bundle. What are we calling this big bundle? This is the pink bundle. So I've shown you the teal, I've shown you the pink, and I'm conscious of the time, but I'm going to just quickly show you the grey, because this is our winner at the minute. It's our pop most popular one. I'm going to pop those over there. So these are the ones where the website images are still updating, so bear with us. But this is the, uh, the neutral grey 11 fat quarter bundle from Win uh, Winterbourne House. I think it's a little early in the morning to say that three times quickly. But you can see it's just that beautiful, soft, salmony, not even salmony pink, it's just a beautiful, beautiful pink. Very, very springy. That's the Winterbourne bouquet. Are we still doing this one by the half metre, Joe? Oh, these are not by the half meter. These are what you get. It's that's it. Uh, where am I putting that? Yes, that's there. Um, so this one is forty-two ninety-nine for the eleven fat quarters, and it's the only way we sell it, unfortunately. So this is the Beatrice Poppy. So it's all the different colours that you've seen, all the different fabric um, designs that you've seen before with all the different colourways, but you're getting this all in the greys and the pinks. Um, and with, if I do that, and Joe has scurried through the studio to do that at a safe distance. Thank you, Joe. Oh, that looks beautiful. How on earth can I not take that home? The f it's just, so they call this neutral. Oh, but look at the florals, how it all just pops. And if you look at that one, doing this back, that is just pops beautifully. Oh, and this end one as well, that one there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Really, really, really pretty collection, this one. And this is now $42.99 for the 11 fat quarters. Unfortunately, we don't have these by the half meter. Um, but yeah, we've got this wonderful fat quarter bundle collection. So at the moment, we've got the lovely Hannah at home and she's WhatsApping us, telling us what we should be doing and doing all of that. So I'm hoping I've done this correctly, but if not, I'll get a WhatsApp message and let us know. Or Joe will get a WhatsApp message. So it's nice that we've, we, that's how we're making this all work. <gasps> I've managed to make it stand up. Don't breathe, don't look at anything, don't look hard. It's brilliant. Voila, here's one I prepared earlier. But honestly, I just absolutely love all of these fat quarter bundles that we've got. So that was that one. We're going to show the teal one as well. Unfortunately, this one is not playing get. There we go. Oh, no, I'm going to have to do it that way. But I got my, f my fat fingers in the way. God, they really do look like sausages there. Sorry. So I'm trying to get all these apart that you can see them all. I'm not doing very well on this. This is what happens when you undo the beautiful folding of the person who brought these in beforehand and you don't fold it back correctly. There is a piece of fabric over here. I'm just going to move that back so you can see all the 11 fabrics. And again, if there are any issues with the pictures on the website, please just bear with us. We are getting them back up and running as soon as possible. I have a, a funny feeling that poor Joe, with all that he's doing at the moment, is going to have to run off a couple of photos and send these off to the website warehouse and get those done. So this is the, the Liberty Teal collection, uh, 11 fat quarters, the Winterbourne House range for $42.99. We've already covered the neutrals and the pinks, and now we've got the wonderful, uh, these are the 
are these called pinks? Sorry, these were called the neutrals. Sorry, I got that wrong. So let's see if I can fold these in a way that might stand up. I'm 90% sure they won't, but I'm going to give it a go. Well, you can't deny we've brought you some amazing fabrics today. Aren't they just pretty and fun? And the great thing is, you not only have you got them in a half metre bundle collection where you'll get, you're basically paying for 10 and getting one for free, we've also got it for you by the half metre because sometimes you do want to actually make a quilt and then you want to put a border on it and the half metre bundle isn't quite big enough to be able to do it. I can hear them all going, oh, not all, like poor Joe going, oh. Nope, didn't, oh, oh, I'm not sure it's going to fit in shot though. Almost. That's not too bad. So this is the Jewel Pink 11 Fat Quarter Pack from Winterbourne House range. $42.99 for the Fat Quarter Bundle. And it's a really good starting point for anybody starting quilting, looking to do it. Take those, cut them into equal amounts squared. So you'll do some math and whoever... Th and with the only TV channels selling all 11 of them, other channels may be having 10 or 9, but we're the only ones who've got the 11. But the great thing is you can then cut them down, sew them together, just make sure your seam allowance is consistent. If you don't have an exact quarter inch, that's fine. Just use your not exact quarter inch all the way along. Lay them all out, see what you like. Buy a half metre or a metre for your border. Voila, instant quilt. And you've got, then do the backing if you want to do the backing. I think it's, it's just, and this is what I always tell people, it's a beginner quilt, get your fat quarter bundles. The pictures on the website may not be 100% correct at the minute. Bear with, we are working with it. Once this is on replay, I'm sure they'll all be corrected by then. So I am here for you for two hours today, and oh, we have run over, sorry about that. We are now gonna be, I'm going to a graphic. There is unfortunately no sound on the graphic, so bear with us, we'll be back in a moment. Thank you so much for your time, and look at all this strokeable fabric. See you in a few minutes, thank you. Bye.
Good morning, I'm John Cole Morgan and this is my 12th show with Sewing Street. Welcome back for our second hour with all the amazing tools. I've been very spoiled today. We've had the most fantastic fabrics. We've got the most brilliant early bird special, which are these pair of scissors that I covered earlier. And I've got fabulous product as well. So I don't know where to start. So why don't I just start by telling you a little bit about the brand of Fiskars. Um, I didn't know most of this. Fiskars started in 1649, so it's just a phase really, set up in Helsinki, uh, which is Finland, I'm 99% sure, Finnish, yes, um, they are a really incredible brand and they have a royal warrant. Why do they have a royal warrant, you ask? Because they own Wedgwood, Royal Dalton, Royal Albert and Waterford. I think that's right. If I've got it wrong, please don't shoot me. So yes, they are a really, really, really amazing brand and they do make the most incredible scissors. Fiskars has been started out um, in the 1977, forgive me, because this is on my phone. They started out in uh, 1977, no, forgive me, 1967. They started by having their orange handled Fiskars scissors, and that's what gave them their brand. So you will see that even today, we have amazing orange handled Fiskars scissors because their quality is so, so good. And they've been going for decades on it, and well, since 1649 really. So the great thing about a company that's been going for that long, they're innovative, they keep it in order to stay alive for that long and to keep going and to be relevant, they're able to expand their brand into the tableware, which is why they have their royal warrant, into different products and to be able to adapt their scissors and rotary cutters for what people are asking for at this time. So it's a really great company that has a really good pedigree. And yeah, I'm just very pleased that we've been able to show so much of their products today. So I'm just gonna recap. We have our wonderful early bird special, which some of you would, most of you would have seen in our first hour. We have, and um, this is where I always struggle, getting the packaging open, because I try and put them all back together and then never get it right, getting them all back out again. So here we have the amazing rose gold pair of dressmaking shears. 21.5 centimeters long are these. And I'm gonna put those down while I take out everything else in this bundle. Because I put them all away so safely earlier, I can't get them back out again so quickly. So the early bird special is, it's set up for the early bird catches the worm. So we've started that this week with what we've all got going on. And we wanted to make sure that everybody was able to enjoy it, even when they've watched it on replay. So the early bird will be on the website until it sells out. So we've got this wonderful pair of, this wonderful uh, thimble. And I struggle finding a thimble that works, that's big enough for my fingers, because I prefer to use my middle finger for, um, piecing because I just push the needle through with that and this actually fits quite nicely on there and it's a metal one I've used uh, plastic ones before and unfortunately I had an incident where the needle just went straight through into my finger quite deeply so I prefer to have the metal one because I'd rather break the needle than my finger. We've got some fabulous pins with these with the rose gold top tops, uh, rose gold topped pins. Go on say that three times quickly. We're gonna have to do this track of when I say three times quickly and then we've got these fantastic little embroidery scissors, which most of us have got in our kits. Um, but I'm not quite sure you've got them quite as fashionable as this beautiful rose gold. And then we've got the um, pair of scissors as well, which goes with it. And you can then go through and have a check on those, but you can see for $14.99, this is five pounds less than we were selling this for the last couple of weeks. And just for the big scissors, you'd be paying that. So have a little look out on those for the early bird specials. They're available until it sells out. Make sure you check those out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some fabric here, because I'm not quite sure I'm allowed to cut the Liberty fabric up, even though I want to. Brace yourselves. I love doing that. And good quality cotton, you don't have to worry about it. So what we have here is the Fiskars um, rotary cutter. I can't remember what this is called. The Pivoting Rotary Cutter Easy Blade Change. So this rotary cutter is really clever because it's designed for people who have wrist issues, dexterity issues. I know there are four different placements for it. So that's one where you do that, and then to connect it, to open it, you're pushing this up, 
And the great thing is you've got to actually physically push it up and then physically push it down. And when you, you get that click when you push it down. So that's the first way of doing it. That's the second way of doing it. And you can cut that way. And then the third way is like that. So what you feel comfortable with, with your wrist is all your, your whatever issues you may have, you will then be able to do any form of cut on all of those. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this at a funny angle. Well, funny angle for me because it's not normal. And then I'm going to open the blade and you can see that you're pushing this down and you're still cutting. And it's a really good way of doing it. And for me, my, my blade safety is always there. So once you've done the cut, you then click that down. So I'll just do that again. You can see then you've got the blade here. So I luckily don't have that, that many dexterity issues, so I don't have to worry about this. But the, some people may find it easier because you can see what my hand is full. It's, perf it's almost perpendicular to the, where I'm pushing. So that makes it a little easier in order to cut. So I'm going to lock my blade as well, and I'm going to get my fabulous Creative Grids ruler. And this is on later in the show, so I'm just going to use it. I'm not going to tell you about it now. So all I'm going to do then is I'm going to hold that there. I'm going to now very slowly and safely open my blade, and I'm going to push my ruler against my blade against the blade and push. And there is a lot less pressure on your wrist, even if you're just cutting normally and you don't have an issue, there's a lot less pressure on it. But then if you, if you don't like it that way, let's say you want to turn it straight ahead of you, again, gently open your blade. Again, just line that up nice and safely against the, the ruler and you just press and press and you can see it's just a really simple, um, just a really simple cutting process to cut with that. It's just really, really simple. And then there's the third cutting way as well, which is over here. So again, make sure you safely lift your blade up. And again, so there you're just doing exactly the same thing. So just almost, you can call, I suppose you could call it three rotary cutters in one because of the different ways that you can use them for $21.99. And it's, you know, Fisker's quality. It's got that really great brand behind it for all those years. It's just a wonderful, wonderful product. I'm really, really, anybody who's had any dexterity issues or problems pressing, these are really great really really great and multiple layers it just depends on what your strength is and what you feel comfortable with whether your blades change etc if you've got a fresh blade when i've got a fresh blade in and i'm using my cutter i can go through eight layers no problem at all without even thinking so if you want to do this you must just do what feels safe for you and make sure that you're doing what's right for you so now we're going to do the easy action soft grip scissors which i think is this one These are the needlework scissors. That's what it is, is because we put them too far away. I'm not actually reading. These are really cute and really fun to use. I'm going to pop them on the overhead if that's all right with you, Joe. Really, really fun product. They're a bit like when you, you know, when you do gardening and you've got your gardening shears and you know those are going through everything. These are really, really fun and they've got a very soft grip. So when, with this, you've got the nice little for safety as well. You slide this up and down and open it and do it that way. Mm -hmm. You want to take these out? I was a little worried I was going to have to chew that little plastic things off there, but we don't. But you can see these are really, really cute. They just look really adorable. And all that fabric you think I threw away, but I did not, is over here. Oh. So you can see these are really cute. 
but you've got that feel like a, a sort of garden shears and things but it just feels so cute so lovely being able to do it they're really lovely and they just flow nicely and they've got a nice noise as well which you like so these are certainly if you're doing any form of quilting you've got dog ears there you go no more dog ears there you go just cut them off bye bye dog ears it's just a lovely pair of pair of um, what are we calling these snips? Little scissors, soft grip. They're really cute. I like them. They can stay. Forty ninety nine. Really really good price on those. And that little bundle goes to charity. Don't worry. So we're going to do these ones next because these are the ones that I have. Can I open these? or attempt to open them. It's like Christmas Day, every time I come here, I get to open all the lovely stuff. Now, I grew up with these being in my household and knowing that if I touched them, I was going to have my finger cut off with them. So these are really great quality. And I remember that these must have been in my house 1980. So we're talking 40 years that these have been around at least. Great, great quality Fisker scissors good size. These definitely cannot go on an aeroplane. They are very sharp and really, really sharp, but really phenomenal pair of scissors. You definitely will not regret getting these. And they were in my parents' home for 40 years. They're probably still there, but they are a really great pair of scissors that you just will not be able to kill. So these are 13 centimeters. Um, and they're $13.99. And if you can imagine, even if you just keep them for 10 years, that's only a pound 30 a year or pound 40 a year. But really a fantastic pair of scissors there. But again, it's Fiskars. What would you expect? They are really great, great quality. So those are the three Fiskars that we've covered so far. And ta -da, ta da we have left handed scissors at last, at last. Hmm? Oh, we've got an open one. Do we? Nope, these are right-handed. Bear with. Nope, these are left-handed. They're slightly different though, those are different ones. So the great thing with these is we have been asked for left-handed scissors, we have been able to bring you left-handed scissors. So I'm opening these now. Oh, forgive me. And the great thing with these is we can now cater for left-handed scissors, which we should have been able to do from the beginning, but alas, we've now been able to bring them to you because you've asked for them, and it was no ill intent on it. It's just one of those things that we haven't been able to bring, and now we have. And not being left-handed, I'm not sure if I'm using these corrected correctly. But again, Fiskars, great quality, great brand. These are 21 centimeters from there to there. And these are um, $14.99. I love it. It's just a nice little row of Fisker's Joy here. Um, shall I do the Fisker's Pinking? So I have never used these before, but for people who do clothes making and dress making, we now have the rotary blade for pinking. So what I understand the pinking is for is to be able to stop your fabric sh uh, sh shraying, shredding and fraying. So we we'll call it shraying just for good measure. And the good thing there is you're able to keep um, your usual rotary cutter that you would use. Um, I'm not sure if it would work in that one. I think it will because it's Fiskars. Um, so the rotary cutter is exactly the same. The blade is exactly the same, except you've got the pinking on it to be able to then make sure that your fabric's not shedding and fraying, shraying we're calling it. Um, and you can use it quite simply with your normal rotary blade, rotary cutter, and you would then just change it as normal. Um, if you were lucky enough to be able to get one of the um, rotary cutters we had previously with the blade changing, I think you can change this with that blade changing tool into any Fiskars product. Please don't quote me on that. Double check what the website says. And yeah, just a really nice, cute product. And these are $6.99. And all the good things that people have been asking for, we're trying to make sure that we bring them to you. I know left-handed scissors was definitely one of them. Sorry it took so long, but obviously 
the world is what it is right now. Um, so anything you do think that you'd like or you'd like to see on the show, please make sure that you pop it onto Sewing Street TV. That's our Facebook page. Drop it on there. And if we can bring it to you, we're going to do our little best to do so. We're a new channel. I think we're only six and a half weeks old now since our very first broadcast, which was on Valentine's Day. So gosh, hasn't that gone by quickly? I've done 12 shows of this. I'm finally getting to understand Talkback. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> But then we're going to recap all of these now. So we've got this beautiful. Oh, we can do. The... Oh, we can do that. I get to stroke the fat quarters again. Which one would you like first? So we'll do the teal one first. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hold these as well as before. I'm going to try and position these that I can get them all in one shot, and not lose grip of them all. <laughs> I've got Joe telling me to get a grip now. Right, is that going to work? I love this. I say, is that going to work? And Joe's run out of the room into there. It's brilliant. So these are the teal fat quarter bundle. That's $42.99. That's 11 fat quarters. Um, and, oh, there we go. I can do it without my fat fingers in the way. I think the lemon tree is my favorite one, that one there. So that's the teal one. Shall we do the natural one next? I'm gonna do the natural one next. Oh, and got that there. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're just so pretty. So if anybody didn't watch my nine o'clock show, just pop onto YouTube and you'll be able to see the nine o'clock show and you'll be able to see each of these fabrics, um, most of these fabrics in the different colorways laying out. There are a few of the grays that I didn't show, but you'll be able to see them because of the colorways of the other fabrics. They're all the same color, all the same design, just with slightly different colorways. So you'll be able to marry the colorways up from what I'm showing you on screen now with us um, laying the fabrics out on that one. If I have um, got time at the end, I'll be able to show you those later. So I'm now going to put the, what would we call these, the pinks and the jewel, I think they were called, jewel and pink. I'm going to put these together, try and see if I can show you all of those. So what I'm doing now is I'm showing you the fat quarter bundles. Um, we've got an 11 fat quarter bundle exclusive to um, any TV channel that's offering all of these at the moment because most of the other places, well, they're not offering the 11 because we've got these as an exclusive. And it's always nice to have that one little um, fat quarter that no one else has got, isn't it? And most of the teal and the jewel pink fabrics, we're able to offer you these by the half meter on the website as well for 7.49 per half meter. So do have a look at this. And if you do buy these and you do make anything with it, tag me in it. I want to see what you make. I want to see. They're really fun, fun colors. I want to buy all of them. So now we've covered the rotary cutters. We've got some scissors. We've got the early bird. We've got this amazing mat, which I keep gushing about because this mat is just so good. I'm going to do some ironing. I'm going to show you some ironing boards first. So in order to do the ironing rulers, I need to just get the ironing board out for you. And I've just realized, do I have, I do have an extension cable for it. So this ironing board um, I've had on, I think once before, this is the cushioned quilters square and blocker ruler, ruler, ironing board, which is so good because it blocks. If you're doing knitting or crochet, you can then pop your knitting and crochet on, pin it, steam it, block it and leave it, which is great. And also we've got the fabulous Prim Iron. Uh, we've been waiting for this for ages, but I'm so pleased we were able to say we've got that in now. Really amazing, amazing product. I was using it the other day. Um, that's our sample. This is ours. It's our little one that comes in the most fabulous little bag because it's nothing, you know, it's, you always lose this. Everybody always loses this little thing. But now all you do is you pop it in your little bag seal your bag up, put it to one side, and then when you're using your iron, you don't have to worry because everything's all in that little bag. So, fingers crossed this plug is gonna work, I'm sure it will. 
What could possibly go wrong? And I'm going to need a little bit of fabric for this test. So with a prim iron, what I forgot to do last time was actually turn it on. So the prim iron, it has this little um, dial on the back. So if I put it into camera one, I can show you there, camera two. Um, you can rotate this and it then turns it on. You can see my little light has gone on. And you can get that as hot as, you, as you'd like it to be. I don't like them too hot. I kind of put it at the first dot of maximum. Um, and I'm now going to get one of my friction pens. Don't need a friction pen, but I'm going to use it because it's here. And the first thing I'm going to do is press this fabric. And my iron hasn't heated up yet, so it will get hotter. Don't think that the iron's not working, it just hasn't heated up yet. Have we got any water in this? No. I had that at my ear, shaking it then. No. So this June Ta Taylor cushion mat, I love it. I think it's a really, really good little mat. And the good thing is, is that you can do your blocking for knitting and crochet as well, which is really good. Um, oh, it takes my little irons taking a little longer to heat up than normal. All oh, this is very, very, very scrunched up underneath the counter. Or I haven't turned it up enough. And I haven't turned it up enough. As I was doing that, I had it on the lowest setting. Love it when the red light flicks on and you know that it's working. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Right, so we have now pressed that nice and flat. So the first, is this the first time we have this with us today? I think this is. So what we have is, they are calling them the Prim Ironing Rulers General Purpose. So what this is for is, oh good, we're on the overhead now. So what we're gonna do is, let's say you're wanting to do a French seam and you're wanting it to be nice and straight. Now, don't think it's gonna be nice and straight just because I'm doing it. So what you're doing is you're lining up your edge of your ruler on the edge of the fabric. So I'm gonna line the edge of my ruler up with this bit here. I'm gonna rotate that a little bit there. So I'm lining that up with the edge of the fabric here. So what I'm doing, you can see I've got this number one red line. I'm gonna now put my little marks on the red line. Okay. And then I'm gonna fold my fabric until it gets to that red line where those dots are. Okay, and then I'm gonna press that down. So that would be the way I'd do it normally. But with this ruler, what you do, you've got your dots there, you put your ruler up there because when you fold it, you normally end up with a bit of a, a, a little bit of a pull, a little bit of a bend there. So what you do is you push your ruler up there to that point. And I'm ironing on the actual ruler. Can you believe the, ma the magicalness of it all? Which is just a bit weird because normally you would expect the ruler to melt. And you can see I'm touching it. It's warm, but it's nowhere near as bad as you'd think it would be. And then if you're wanting to do another line, brand new on Sewing Street today, you can see I'm now lining this up with the edge of the, helps if I move it up. I'm lining the ruler up again with the line that I've got on the edge of the fabric there. And I'm taking my little friction pen, pushing that across. So I know that that's the line I want it on because I'm trying to do, let's say, a French seam. No idea what that is, but I'm gonna do a French seam. Or I'm gonna do a seam, it's, that's not a French seam, is it? I'm doing a double seam. So again, fold that there. And this is the point where you'd expect your ruler to melt into a nice globule of nothingness. And you can see I'm taking it down the bottom bit as well. And look at that. 
and such a new channel having such amazing new products. I am loving this. So now if you were just now stitching that down, you would take that to your sewing machine and sew it down. There are many other uses for these. You can see on the, the line here, they've got the different A to B, they've got your hems, you've got different things for cuffs, um, different ways of doing things here, also trimming things off. So there are loads of different uses for these. I'm not gonna profess for one second to know exactly what all of them are, because I think that would be disingenuous. The fact that I could do that seam, I was really impressed with. And the good thing as well, which I love because I'm always buying things and then losing them, is if you take it apart, almost, I'm gonna say as well as I did because I think I did reasonably well, you can leave it like that and you can keep it like that and all you do is you just hang it on the wall because you've got a little funny hooky bit there, a little funny hooky bit there and you can then just hang that on the wall and they're always in one place. Because smaller pieces like this, sometimes you do put in a funny place and never know where they are again. But a really, really fun, brand new product that we've got today, and that is $7.99. And then the great thing is, you've got your little prim iron. I don't think I'm gonna need my iron again, so I'm gonna take that apart. And because it's a hot iron, I'm gonna put it over here so that nobody hurts themselves. So now that we've seen the, uh, the June Taylor mat, and you can see how good that is, it's a really lovely product. But let's say you don't want that, maybe you want our lovely little sloths. I love our little sloths, they've come in, they've been in and out for a little while, and I love them, they are so cute. Did I show you all of these? We've got Buddha sloth, no, that's knitting sloth. So we've got knitting sloth, we've got party sloth, sleepy sloth, Buddha sloth, but even though Buddha sloth is holding all the balls of wool, we've got happy sloth. I love them. I've named them all. It's so much fun. And I know I probably shouldn't, and I've probably got too much time on my hands, but there we go. That's what I've done. So here we've got the lovely ironing board as well, which you can then, any form of ironing you wish to do, you can just pop it on there with the amazing prim iron. Lovely, lovely little ironing board. But I say little because that's a really big space. This is, is it A3? A3 ironing board and an A3 cutting mat. Um, so the size for the cutting mat is 11 inches that way and 17 inches that way. If I move that up a little bit, 17 inches that way, 11 inches that way. So your ironing board is gonna be exactly the same. But the best thing about it is you fold it over, use your little Velcro clasp and you've got handles and you take it with you everywhere you go. You can just take it with, because we all go to little retreats, we go to sewing days. Never, never get a chance of use the iron. We can't get anywhere near the ironing board because there are so many people doing so many different projects, which is fantastic, don't stop doing it. But now, you pop that on your table, you do it, you take your little prim iron, it's all sorted, it's all done, and you can do what you like with it. So we're not sure, I'm just hearing now, we might actually not be able to, once these have sold out, we may not be able to get these back again for a little while. So if you are interested in it, make sure that you do check out um, and you get them because if we can't get them back, we might not be able to get them. And if we do get them back, we may not be able to get them at that price as well. So price is always an important thing to remember. And here again, we've got all our, all our fabulous little sloths as well with our Buddha sloth and sleepy sloth and knitting sloth and all of them. There's our knitting sloth, I love him. And then we've got a little basket and thing. So here, what's slightly different is you've got an ironing board, which is roughly the same size as on the A3 piece, and you use your little prim iron over here. But you've got your little ridge there, which isn't a problem because we just iron over it, apparently. I don't know how to iron. I'm not gonna to profess to know what I'm doing there. You'll have a little, a little wrinkle there, I assume. I have no idea. So <laughs> I keep saying that so I don't have to iron at home. <laughs> and then on the other side of this, you've got your cutting board, your cutting board here being 11 inches that way and eight inches that way. And then here you've got your, I'm gonna try and pick up bits of fabric that I've got in my little bundle over here. Here you've got your design board. So let's see, now this is gonna not work again, is it? Oh. 
oh, I'm going to leave it at two. I'm going to win. I've won it too. So you pop your little pieces of fabric on. You stand on the other side of the room and see if your colorway works. That's great. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead there. <laughs> and it's only because it's national telly that, and live telly that it never works. And then here, if you're looking to do um, FPP or fussy cutting, you then just put your fabric on here. You put your template over. You draw around your template. Um, let's just say this is it. You draw around your template. A, hard, a really very odd hexagon. You do that and then you take it over here. Come on. And then you put that over here and you can either use your pair of scissors. These are my favorite Cisco scissors today. I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm not meant to have favorites. But you then cut these out. But the sandpaper is there for you to be able to then make sure your fabric is stationary. So when you are cutting everything, getting everything ready, you don't, um, your fabric's not moving or anything like that. And hopefully you'll be a better cutter than I am because that is definitely not well cut in the slightest. But you're not going to judge me for it at all. And then when you've cut out all your hexagons, I'm going to try for a second time, you stick them on there. And then you stick a second hexagon over there. Oh my goodness, this is really working today. We're going to keep this one. This is my one now. We're not getting rid of that one. Mine, mine. But also the great thing about this is not only the price of $14.99, it also is so small, it slots into any bag that you're taking. Anywhere you, anywhere you want to go, This you've definitely got room for this. It's the size of a magazine. And then you've got your cutting mat there as well, which is really great because most of us, when we're going, when we're just cutting off a small little bit. We don't need massive boards like this one. Um, so that's just really good, especially if you're going out for a retreat or a day of sewing or day of relaxation slash avoiding all your partners. Not a judgment. You're happy to do it. But then we've got these amazing cutting mats here that I've, th this is what I've got as well, these giant ones, which are so good. This one's 34 inches by 22. And on the other side, we've got the metric, uh, which is, I think it's, um, 87 centimeters by 57 centimeters. I'm sure that means a lot to people, dressmakers. I'm very sorry, I'm a quilter, so all in Imperial. You've got these wonderful little um, angle lines. You can see you've got the 45 degree, you've got the 30 degree, you've got the 60 degree, and you've got them on the other side as well. So if you're cutting from different angles. Um, and then what's great about this as well is you can, I'm not sure we can see it from there. So you can see it starts from zero to zero there. So you can see the outer lines count down. And then over here, you've also got from zero to one. And then from the other side, over here, it's also from zero to zero. And then it counts up. But if you look at the line below, depending which way around you want to put your, root, your, root, your, your mat, that goes to 87 to 57. So let's say, for example, you wanted to do it this way. You can have it going from zero, wait, you can have it going from, this is a good thing about it being so big. You can have it, you see the circled, the ones in the circles, that's zero. So you can have that going all the way up to 87. So let's say, for example, you cut a lot of half a meters. So you've got the half meter line, you've cut a lot of half meters, and then you think, oh, I've got a little bit of a ridge there. All you do, you pick your mat up, you flop it round, and now, your zero is still in the top corner, but you're not going for the circled lines. Your half meter is over here. So you then can create a new line and your mat is going to last you twice as long. So this is a really good mat to get. I love them. I've got them. So that's my top tip of the day. So now we have, forgive me while I hunt for it. There we go. We have an ironing sheet. Now I love these because look how much space you get with them. It's huge. It's huge. And you can iron on both sides if I'm not mistaken. You can indeed. But I'm going to iron on the canvas. So you've got your canvas here. And then when you want to iron something, allegedly, I don't know how you do that, you then go and you do that. And you just iron like that. 
and it's a really nice little pocket size. Well, it's not really pocket size, but it's it folds up so beautifully. Let me just get this to fold completely. Oh gosh, there's lots of little gadgets on it as well. I'm coming back to those. You can fold this up as well, and it's a bit smushy, so you can do another turn, and you can put that in your your bag as well. But this is a really good one if you're taking if you're going to be at a retreat or a, a sewing day, and you know you've got a lot you need to sew, or a, you need a lot to press, because ironing boards are not this wide. You can see that is pretty wide. The table mats are really, you know, the tables we all work on when we do these retreats are huge. So you can easily pop this on there and do that with pleasure. But equally, this is my favorite thing about it. We're going to pretend, I'm going to see, we're going to pretend that, I'm not sure how much, can you take the bottom graphics off, Joe, just for two minutes or one minute? No, the bottom graphics. Because if you can, you can just drop the graphics off. You're going to pretend there's a sewing machine here. But look, you've got all your pockets. You can put things in. And you can put things in there. And you can put your pins and your needles in the top there. So this is great because your sewing machine would sit here. You can still foundation paper piece, I'm all over the foundation paper piecing at the minute, you can pop that on there and press it and then just rotate ever so slightly to do the, um, the cutting and this is a really really great product I have to say I'm very very impressed with that because it's always nice to have something that you've got your machine on that way then you're not going to lose any pins they're all going to be in there we're always losing pieces especially for my foundation paper piecing you've got all those bits of fabric that you're saving you've got the smaller pieces that will be handed on to the lovely Irene or going off to charity those go into these little pockets here your largest pieces stay on the table I'm really loving this product and it's an ironing mat on both sides what's not to love so this is $33.99 at the minute, uh, the Prim Multi Ironing Sheet. It's half a meter by 92 centimeters. So there, yeah, have a check out on that. Pop on the website as well if you've got any questions about it. Um, and it comes in a nice cute little bag. And I feel like I'm overwhelmed with all the products we got here. So, what we've got next is, so many of you would have watched my um, foundation paper piecing class on Wednesday. If not, get it on catch up um, because I love foundation paper piecing. I'm absolutely addicted to it. But these are really, really fun. They're called add a quarter rulers. So what you will do, let's pretend that this is your fabric and all the bits that you're keeping. Um, and these are, oh, these brand new to Sewing Street as well. Oh, good, like a new little dis new product. So what we're doing here is let's just assume that this is one of the product, this is my, um, my fabric, my paper, everything that I want to keep. And as I said repeatedly on that show, ad nauseum for the poor people listening to it, is everything you keep goes under your ruler. So everything under your ruler you're keeping. And then what you do is you push that up against the seam line of where you are and then it automatically gives you a quarter of an inch over here. And you cut off everything on that side of the ruler. So it's a really good product and it also means that that way you're not accidentally cutting a half an inch or a little bit less than an inch, a, less, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. This is automatically calculated for you. So you're butting up against where your seam is and then you're automatically cutting your a quarter inch from there. Great product to have in anybody's quilting kit. It's a really good thing to use for foundation paper piecing, but also if you're going to cut out a template, um, if you're just using a template and you've got the template, let's see, let's say this was your template. It's not your template, but let's just say that's your finished product that you want as your template. You then line that up with the quarter inch if you're a quilter and then you cut your fabric there because you've got your template that you know what that looks like. So if you've got your papers for, let's say you've got papers for hexagons, you've got your hexagon there, that's the finished size of your hexagon. You then line that up over here and you cut off that side because that works then very well for your template. So it's a really, really very universal product. You've got the 12 inch ruler and the six inch ruler. Um, so I, I love these, I think they're really, really good. And the only reason I haven't used them is because I haven't bought them yet. So yeah, give them a go. 
add a quarter plus. Right, so we next are going to do the Roxanne Sharpen Cap Pack. It's got one sharpener, uh, four pencil caps and four pencils. How many times have we got a pencil in our bag? Come back, gone for a day of sewing, come back and the pencil, yes, I was going to use a rude word, but I didn't, has drawn all over our fabric or our project or right down the middle of something and we can't use it. These have got the pencil caps. So that in itself is worth its gold for me because the number of times I do have a pencil in my bag because I prefer using those um, and it's drawn all over my product and I'm like, mm, I get very grumpy. So don't want to be doing that. So here you've got the, the caps, um, there you go, you can see the caps there. You've got your pencils and you've got your sharpener and the great thing with the sharpener is all your detritus and your debris is all in there and then you can empty it out and go from there. So the great thing about the chalk pencils is 100% water soluble, no dyes or, ax or wax added, slides smoothly across fabric or pr uh, to produce long lasting fine lines. Um, and the chalk can be removed with just a small amount of warm water or a damp cloth. So, you know, win, win, win. How can you go wrong? So they, and you know what a pencil's like, it lasts forever because we don't use them very often. And as long as they're sharp, you can carry on using them for ages. So I think this is a really great product on this. $12.99 for the four. You've got the four caps and the sharpener. So I think that's a really great product. Perfect. Rotary cutter blades. How many times do we go through our rotary cutter blades? I'm going to tell you a very fun, quick story on it, though. Um, when you buy a pack of three, hello, Sylvia, you know what I'm going to say. Make sure you only put one on your rotary cutter blade. I'm not going to say any more other than the fact that potentially someone that I love and adore might have put three rotary cutter blades on one rotary cutter and neither of us could figure out what on earth was going wrong. Don't recommend it. So make sure you're just using the one blade as you go. They are very oily, so make sure you just use a piece of kitchen cloth, kitchen towel, and just very safely take them apart. Really great product. These are the ones that I use. The So Easy ones are very good. $8.99 for the three blades. Really works well. 45 millimeter blades. And the thing is, I stock up on these because the number of times you're going to cut a project, um, you get halfway through it and you're thinking, gosh, my blade's a bit dull. Look in the box and you haven't got them. So these are a really great product to have just in your stash to make sure that you've got in case you need them. So, yep, I'd be stocking up on them. I probably will be. We've got our magic pins. I briefly discussed these before. These can go underneath your iron without melting. Um, they're fabulous. I haven't used them myself because I just haven't bought them. Um, but yeah, very, very good product and it's great because you can just pop the iron over them. No problem at all. And the great thing is with these great big heads on them, you can actually then just remove them very easily as well. Because how many times are we trying to reach for the little tiny pin and it's got that tiny little head on it and you can't quite get to it. But there we go. Really fun product as well. So this is one product that I don't like showing, but I'm going to show because unfortunately we all do our frogging moments. We've got the Madeira uh, Unpicker. I was going to call it, un should we call it an Unsewer? I don't know, Unpicker, Dethreader, whatever you want to call them. They're monsters and we hate them all, but we've all got to have them just in case. And what, when you do have one, you want to make sure that you've got a really good one. This one looks really nice and sharp. I haven't used this one myself, but any unpick is worth a give a go. And at $2.99, what? That can't be right. I like it, we're not gonna change anything. Hannah's away, we're gonna leave it at that. $2.99 for the Madeira Seam Ripper. Really, and the great thing about this is what I do know, is it's got a nice big handle. Because what we do, what I find as well, if you've got one of those tiny little ones that come free with your sewing machine, it doesn't matter which sewing machine, you all get one. Um, it's got that tiny little sharp one and you can't get your hand around it and they're just annoying, they just irritate me. But no offense to them, no, not dissing your product. I prefer a bigger handle because I've got bigger hands than most women. So I just want to make sure that I can get through it nice and easily. So Unpicker, unfortunately, we all need them. That's a reasonably good one. Give that one a go at that price. So I'm very excited because now I can touch my fat quarters again. Which one shall we do first? Sorry, I'm tripping over my... 
Oh, the natural and grey, the most popular. Oh, I love it. Oh, I seem to have been able to grab them all in one go. Will I be able to rest my arm? I'm um, definitely not. Oh, let's see. Oh gosh, no, no, come this way. Oh, there we go, not too bad. I have to say my shirt blends quite nicely into that. They just work so beautifully. If you watch the nine o'clock show, you'll be able to see each of these color, each of these designs in a different color way. Um, have we got time to show them? Sorry, we don't have time, otherwise I would show you. But they're just a really fun colorway. You can see why they're so popular. I can't show them all, but at least that way then I can give you a hint of what they look like. But you can see with the gray and the pink, it's just such a modern combination of colors, getting them to work so well together. So that one is the neutral and grey colourway. Should we do the pink and jewel next? Pink and jewel is next. Now, can I get my arm in the same place as before? Probably not. Let's see. Oh my word! Gosh, this one really does match my shirt. Oh, go that way. So you can see these as well. So you can have a little look at each colour as we go. This one's quite popular too. But you can see why the grey and the pink is so popular. And again, as a beginner who's just starting out wanting to start making a quilt, cut these into equal size squares, get as many as you can, literally just piece them together as a quilt, and then find something that works well for your border. And there you go. It's just some, a simple, easy quilt. Oh, I'm not doing, there we go. I'm getting better at lining this all up. So you can see our lovely little lemon tree, which is upside down. We've got our floral. So I'm just hearing, we've had a lot of messages coming in. I'm sorry we've neglected them. We've just been, I just got a bit excited about the thing. I'm sure Joe was speaking them in my ear and I was like, nope, liberty, liberty, libertata. I call it libertata in my house. So we had a message in from Jenny Harris. Hello, Jenny. Morning. Oh, say that again. Oh, she's received her iron finger and roll and press. Oh, fantastic. We've had a message in from Nilly. Hello, Nilly. She's saying, oh my gosh, John, beautiful liberty. And if this is the Nilly that I think it is, you know me and my liberty, darling. <laughs> She's saying, beautiful liberty, and? It is the Nilly I'm thinking of. So Nilly, Joe, and I all love our liberty together, and we go to liberty together to look at this. So she's telling me that I'm now killing our friend Joe, stroking all this liberty on it. Thank you for messaging in, everybody. And please keep the messages coming in. If we don't reply to them on the show, I definitely will reply to them afterwards. So all the half meters that I've shown you today are on the, on the web. Um, so all the half meter bundles are on there as well. So if you're gonna buy a bundle, you get, t um, it's seven pounds 49 for a half meter. If you buy a bundle, it's 74 pounds 90. So you're effectively getting a free one if you buy the half meter bundle. The qu fat quarter bundles are 42.99. Just double checking that. Um, so the, only the, the neutral grays are not on there for a half meter, just because they didn't have them in stock. If you are ordering the fat quarters please bear with us there will be a small delay on getting them in it's just where we are at the moment so we'll get them out to you as quickly as we can so we're going to recap on the tools that we've got in today's show oh let's do the early bird because I'm hoping so the early bird will be available until the stock um, sells out we've got this beautiful rose gold pair of scissors so this is a 21 and a half centimeter um, pair of dress shears. These are right-handed dress shears. Um, and then we've got the little embroidery scissors, which are nine and a half centimeters that go with it. Um, and I didn't plan this very well. Oh gosh, I've just thrown the thimble across the stage. <laughs> Sorry about that. We've got a lovely thimble and a lovely pair of a set of pins. So you can see the uh, rose gold on it as well. And the rose gold really works very, very well with this product. I think they're a really cute little product there. So I'm not quite sure if that's the right way to show it, but I've got all four pieces in it. And for the four pieces, you're looking at 
Personally, I think that these sh these big shears alone are worth more than the fourteen ninety nine. So you're getting all those free products to go with it. So this rotary cutter that I was showing earlier, and something just rolled off the stage. Forgive me, <laughs> just trying to find out what it is. So this one is selling really, really well at the moment. I'm not surprised because a lot of people do have dexterity problems. It's a very good product. You can rotate it as you go. You've got that position there. You've got the position ahead of you and you've got the position underneath you. And equally, you can do it that way as well, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. I thought there was a fourth one. Anyway, so that one, this one's selling really well, so do have a little look at that. Really good product. That's $21.99. We have the, is that the pinking blade or the three blades? So we've also got, if you do want to buy some backup blades for when they all go dull, this is available, I think it was $8.99 for the three spare blades. So that's a really good, I use these products myself. It's a very, they're very good. My only top tip is, unlike Sylvia and I, don't put all three in at once because it doesn't work. So that works very well with Fiskars products as well. We've got the Fiskars pinking rotary cutter blade as well, which is the first time we've got, is this the first time we've had it on? I think it is the first time we've got it on, so very excited. Please, if you are using these, post pictures of what you're doing with them, because I'd love to see them. Especially if I haven't used the product, I'd love to see what people are doing with it. Your feedback is really important, because that's what we've got on the show. Everything that you've fed back that you've wanted, we've tried very hard to get on. So yeah, keep us posted with what you're doing. This is $6.99 for the... Uh, the pinking rotary cutter blade. I hate doing this one, but at that price, you've got to. This is the Unpicker, the Madeira Unpicker, which was $2.99. Just such a gorgeous handle, and it looks really nice and sharp. We all need a good Unpicker, unfortunately, so we can do our frogging. This is $2.99, the Madeira Seam Ripper. Got to be done, because you need a good one when you do it. Shall we do this amazing set of ironing rulers? Um, I only did one way of showing you how to do, um, I'm assuming a hem. I've never done dressmaking, so forgive me if I've got that wrong. Um, lovely set of, of rulers. Also, you can store them in this wonderful packet. Um, I think these were, how much were they? $7.99. First time on Sewing Street. Lovely, lovely product. And you've got two different size rulers. I'm not sure if I showed the two size rulers. Did I? I'll just show both of them again, just in case. So you've got the one which is five by 15 centimeters, no, 10 by 30 centimeters, and then you've got a smaller one which is five by 15, which I'm assuming one would be for cuffs and one would be for longer and bigger seams. Lovely product. Oh, a quarter of this product has gone already. Gosh, you asked for it, we brought it for you, and now you're buying it. That's great. Uh, what is on tomorrow? Tomorrow is, oh, I'm very excited. Watch my social media. You'll be able to get some sneak peeks of the Amelie lap quilt tomorrow. Uh, we've got three of those coming in tomorrow and I'll finish the third one off on air to be able to show you what we're doing with that. And then we've got a 10 a.m. fabric hour. I'm so excited. I love fabric hours because I just sit and stroke it. It's all lovely. So yes, the Amelie quilt tomorrow is going to be really good. We've got our beautiful um, add a quarter rulers as well, which I'm really pleased about. This is for foundation paper piecing, English paper piecing as well. Any template that you've got that you want to add a quarter inch to to cut your fabric out, this is what you need. And any form of foundation paper piecing, this is really great because you can butt right up to that seam, cut off the excess you don't need. And I think these were, were they? $24.99. Really great little ruler for that for foundation paper piecing. We've had three sets of scissors today. We've got the left-handed pair of scissors, which were $14.99. Um, sorry it took so long to get them to you, but we did get them to you and we're sorry it took so long. We've got the little baby orange pair of scissors and we've got the little white pair of snips and we've got the pencils and I'm very sorry and I've got the iron and I've got the mats. Sorry it's taken so long to do a recap, but it's just been such a lovely hour doing all the products that you've asked for. It's just nice to be able to get the feedback, so keep that coming in and we'll keep doing what we can. Stay safe in this, in this horrible environment we're in right now. Stay at home, be safe, stay in and sew. And please stay involved with our social media to keep us posted. Thank you all so much for your time. It's been such a pleasure. I'm John Cole Morgan. Goodbye.